you know I never had a prom. Oh. So this is why we're posing in our prom pose. <laughs> oh, oh, is this why? <laughs> yes. Okay. Listen, right. last February, a local mother made national news when her homemade remedy for chapped lips mm. uh, became a featured item in the Oscar swag bag. That's a big deal. She's mm. from Portland, Connecticut, and yesterday we caught up with a local entrepreneur to learn all about her brand new lip scrub. Joining us now is Brenda Morgieski, the owner of Mitzi Cosmetics, and uh, that's not you, Brenda. Oh, no. This is you, Brenda. This is Brenda. <laughs> the last time we saw our heroine, you were on your way to the Oscars. I was, I was, and that was quite the trip. So you have created a lip balm yes. only to be outshadowed by a lip scrub. A lip scrub. So, but you can't can't bomb unless you're scrubbing. You have to have the proper scrub palette. Yes. Right. Absolutely. But tell us how it went with the Oscars. The Oscars was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It was a whirlwind. It opened a lot of doors mm -hmm. for our business. Congrats. Um, and, you know, we're getting into a lot of different retailers now. Um, what I'm noticing is a lot of our stuff is going into spas, medical spas. Huh? They are now oh. using our lip scrub and our balm as a lip treatment. So after you go in for like a microderm or a facial, they finish you off with the lip lux treatment. Wow. Yes. Did you intend on that happening or was just I a did fluke? not intend on this at all. <laughs> but I said you can't have a bomb without having a scrub and then it all kind of came together. And I think just to, so we can clarify for everyone, it's when you get these chapped lips. Yes. Uh, usually when the colder months come, mm -hmm. you get a little, yeah. it gets schmutzy you get, and gross. You get like the, the skin. Yes. So you can't just put balm over your lips and no, hoping that it, no. you know, so you takes get rid everything of the dry skin first. off. You have to get rid of the dead skin cells first. I hate when I see sometimes women have like this beautiful lipstick on and then I see the skin, it just, I want to go up to them and like and peel take it, it off. off. Yeah, I'm or, like, scrub your lips. Or say, hey, I've got a product. And you, you yes. make this yourself. I do. It's how, all, all me. How, how did you come up with this? You know, it was, like I told Ryan when I was here last time, I was just trying to make something for my kids. They had chapped lips, nothing was working, so mm -hmm. I went out and got all this stuff and I made something for them. And then it, it turned into something really cool because not only is it a bomb, mm -hmm. but it goes on glossy, which kind of set me apart from a lot of the right, other right. bombs that are which out there. Which I love. I, I wear yes, every day. Yes, it looks good on you. Kitty. Necessity and is the mother of invention. <laughs> so t let's pretend we're back back in your kitchen. Okay. And how do we, uh, what are the ingredients? So to make okay, the scrub? so what we do is um, a lot of a lot of lip scrubs are made with like that bigger raw cane sugar. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. That's not good for, and not that it's not good for your lips, but it wasn't good on my lips. It, it like ripped my lip and a little bit. And she's got a nice lip. She I do. She well, is. it's been a it's year now that I've been wearing this. Yeah. So yeah. nice yeah. lip. Yeah. So right. I, use, I use the natural cane sugar. It's a, it's a smaller grain. Mm -hmm. It's going to do the same job. This is like it, a sweet scrub. It, it's going to be and sweet. it's going to taste good. You're probably going to want to eat sweet. it. Eat more. Okay. Mm, Half of my Half of my people want to eat well, it. We will test that out at the end. I can verify that's we'll... sugar. It and good. then this here is a vegan base. So a lot of these lip scrubs are made with an oil base, mm -hmm. like jojoba oil, olive oil. Mm -hmm. It's just too messy for me. I can't handle it. And I like how it's like whipped. And I, I made this. this is so this nice. is fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our sugar in here and all of my ingredients. All right. Okay. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some local honey from Glastonbury, Connecticut. I try to keep everything keep it local. Wow. Absolutely. And you're in Portland, right? So it's I'm in right Portland, down the road. so it's like Local right down the street. Girl. Yes. Then we have our essential oils. So I'm going to use lemon and lavender today to kind of mock my lemon and lavender uh, lip balm. You got that? I, I, so are you that paying close there. attention, Ryan? I'm trying. Then What's we that? have some coconut oil, okay. which is a fabulous emollient for your lips, going to nourish your lips really, really Did good. Did you know when you were a child you would become a chemist? Absolutely. Of the makeup variety. No. <laughs> 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 then I'm going to add a little organic stevia, which is going to give a little bit mm -hmm. more of that May I that spin nice... while you add? Oh, please, spin. Then a little bit of vitamin E this to preserve it. Good. This is, I feel like we're in the vendor you kitchen. Doesn't it feel like you're, we're making like cupcakes or Where something? Yeah. And right? the last ingredient? Last ingredient is my favorite. This is mica. So I have a snowflake mica and a sunset What's gold a mica? mica? What's like a mica a, with you? Mica? Who's it's a mica? It's a um. <laughs> mica. It's it's um. Oh gosh, it's like so stone cool. that's like ground up to make the color for like your lip yeah. your lipstick. Oh. So I'm gonna add that oh, in there. Oh, sprinkle that. Oh yeah, girl. See. Pretty, wow. right? Jeez, can, I, that. can I be like a, a Mitzi Pixie? You can be, be a, a Mitzi Pixie. <laughs> I would love for you to be a Mitzi and be in Pixie. in your kitchen making this stuff. <laughs> Isn't that great? Wow. So as soon as that's all combined, mm -hmm. we're going to start adding the sugar so that okay. the scrub can actually take place. Do it. So I'm going to add a little bit at a time. Okay. Get that in there. I'm going to stir, stir, stir. Stir, stir, stir. 
and then it. when you think that it is done, which you're, you're almost done, we might not need a lot of sugar. Can we just eat it? Do we have to? We can get some but, spoons, yeah. perhaps, I think and we just, just eat start, it by the pound start yeah. eating it. I'm actually going to add a little bit more sugar to it. Ryan, are you going to try this? I think I'm, Not I, to eat it. I think so. I'm forced to. I don't think I have a choice here, Marisa. I think I will be putting uh, scrub All on right. my lips. So we this take this and put it into Yeah, so then we have this. these uh, sterile jars, and you're going to pop some into the sterile jar. And then you could use your own cap. Caps wow. right here. Yes. Go, go try one of those. Open one of those. One of these, I, right? I have, yeah, yeah the that's, top? that's, the, so this is our signature one. Go. Um, this try is it. our lip balm, here. our lip scrub. Oh, look, it's fresh. It, for you, sealed for your protection. Oh, wow, look at this. I got Look, okay. he just went right in there through okay. his finger. He's so gross. Was this too much? Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> yes, and I have mm. some napkins for you. Oh, my God, Ryan. <laughs> Am I going overboard right no, now? No, not at all. Is this a little no. too much? Or that's is this a normal amount of lip lux I should like be using? You look like you've been sniffing glue. Mm. So, um, what I, so listen, what you usually do is you keep this jar near your bathroom while you're, look at him, while you're brushing your it teeth. Good. When you're done brushing your teeth, that's when you put the scrub on. Can I wipe it off? Then you can go ahead and put your lipstick in your Can I just on. say, this really did just take yeah. off. It's very Dead nice. Dead skin. It is and very then, nice. And it's gentle. Following it up by? Oh, yeah. So this is our new fall scrub. We mm. do special editions. So this is our fall lip scrub. It's called Sugar and Spice. And everything nice? And everything nice. So it's made with um, organic cinnamon essential oil and vanilla essential oil. Wow. And it does give a little hue of red, and it smells like a cinnamon bun. Let's see. Mm. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. So oh, cute. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, the official pits. Mitzi Pixie. Mitzi Pixie. Thank you. I like that. So much for joining us. Thank you for having me on. Fix your face. I'm, Fix your I'm face. I'm trying. I struggle every day. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Brenda said she's collaborating with Stephen Molesky, a celebrity makeup artist who's working with people like Chrissy Teigen, Kim Kardashian, Mel B, Juliana Huff on uh, a special product. For, uh, for Christmas. Christmas time. That'll be a yeah. nice gift. Head on over to MitziCosmetics.com to learn a little bit more info about that. Mm -hmm.